Hi, I'm Tony Morgan of a &R Boilers and we're the members of the Engineer Team Network. Today's ball what we're looking at is Valen Ecotech Pro. So this particular video we're just going to have a look around the boiler. I'm going to discuss that with Kevin Brown and um, we'll see what we find out. Okay Kev, we're just going to have a quick look at the boiler. Just look at the parts and um, show the viewers what's going on. So before we put it down what we'll do just tell me about the front here so this one's got a mechanical timer pretty basic one but it's a mechanical timer on off switch you've got your thermostat controls and you've got your LED display and your pressure gauge and on off switch so we'll drop the panel down so by the way, what happened? Pressure relief valve, uh, pressure gauge, diverter, main heat exchanger, gas valve. Fill me in on that one, so. Well, it's like um, it's like a bypass type valve. So it's factory set, so you don't really mess with that. Right, okay, we've got our plate heat exchanger. And this little darling, which is Tony. That's a flow turbine. So basically that's where what happens, the cold water inlet comes in this way. Sorry, no, that way. That turns like a spins. It makes electrical current go through to the board. Tells the diverter valve next door to be in the right position. Starts the ball at the same time, so that makes hot water so you can start. So that's what the flow turbine does. So what's, that, what's this next to it? Go on, so fill me in. This is a pressure sensor. Pretty common for going to pressure sensors. What happens, you can get an F75 volt code coming on. If the pressure's okay, and then the F75 is coming on. This is usually the cause. From the previous video, we've seen that we had an F75 fault, but it was the pump. Yeah. So we'll just look inside here. Let's get that off there. Right, so this is the board. Um, this is the plug for the pump. Now on this pump, on a previous video we've seen we all had three wires, live neutral nerve, and this has got two extra wires. So this is um, the pro version. So the pro version only needs three wires. But this pump has got five. Now I think the reason why this has got five because this is an R1 and on the by what looked at before is an R2. The other thing I want to say about this particular boiler, going back to the diverter valve, you can see it's got a brass one. Now on the other versions you've got a plastic one as well, exactly the same but it's made of a different material. So that's one to note. If you do get a brass diverter valve fault, put a brass one back, that's the best thing to do. There's another device here. This is spike electrode and lead. Up at the top here, you've got a flue sensor. You can see that cable. So that basically detects if there's a rise in the flue gases due to any blockage. At the back there, you've got the condensed trap. And um, that's a flow return from the main heat exchanger. I think we're covering most of the bolts or sorry parts. Also see this flexible pipe here. You can get problems in that pipe bursting basically. So you get leaks from that flexible pipe. The other flexible pipe at the back is from the condense. 
sometimes they corrode and leak. I've seen lots leak and then it drops down onto the plate you get exchanger, cause a lot of corrosion all to the metal surface around here. So watch for that corrugated pipe at, pipe at the back from the condense. Is there anything else you want to ask? No, it's fine, it's good. Okay, so that's it on this Valiant Ecotech. If you like what you've seen, if you give us a like, and um, you can subscribe to our channel. We'd like to see you on the next video, so thank you for now.